Hi everybody, this is Leo Vallant, your YouTube Messiah. Effective criminal justice for a safe society. In the not so ancient times, even just back to where we could still understand their English, all but the big words, criminal justice was engineered almost entirely to placate the concerns for social stability and preservation for the rights of life and property. And so almost any deliberate and calculated crime against property or persons was subject to the death penalty. A good riddance to bad rubbish, right? Yes, you see, the ancient world was very cost conscious and the leaders of the community would have bridled if they'd been required to feed and house all the criminals in their society. The solution they would arrive at would usually be, if we catch you, we'll kill you. And then the problems uh, would go away of their own. But the modernist revolutions of the same wave that brought us our liberal constitution, well, they uncovered the concept of proportionality. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. tooth that if a criminal should chop off one of our legs and then stab out one of our eyes and smash out half of our teeth, then the wisdom of Solomon would limit us to making our attacker just as pathetic as he or she made us. But does it bother anybody that this model of justice hedges the risk to the criminal and limit, limits the terror that the concept of deterrence should inspire in the guilty. But just, to even, but just to even the score would be to add insult to injury. Really, justice should have every right to demand something like a repackaging fee. The society must consider the cost of their having been so inconvenienced. And this is where society has a right to exact capital vengeance. But yeah, nobody wants to hand over life and death decisions to the police, <laughs> who despite their good intentions, if any, test as low as one can test and still get a municipal job. And then the guns and then they get guns and badges. And the prosecutors, oh, they went to law school. But even the prosecutors, well, if they were particularly clever lawyers, then wouldn't they, go, wouldn't they have gone into private practice? So no, the legal system just on the face of their human resources. They must be expected to be too screwed up for handling anything that important. And then we can add in the possibility for corruption and personal vendettas. So yes, we need to take this out of people's hands altogether and hand the affairs over to as close to God as we can get. And that would be technological full surveillance. Okay, yes, I can hear the complaints now about privacy, but that is only a concern if people are involved with the total surveillance. Where enemies in the government with police connections can target individuals and plant evidence and don't we all hate that? Yes we do. But machine intelligence, but machine intelligence total surveillance would be limited to the machines. What I'm saying is that we would not need trials and all the damned lawyers if we could only just follow a criminal from his crime continuously to his arrest and therefore prove without a doubt as an established fact the guilt of the transgressor. Now, here's the good part for everyone who's paranoid out there. 
as well as establishing the guilt of the guilty, full surveillance would also be the perfect alibi for all the innocent. When without, first sur without full surveillance, the cops can frame us and plant evidence. So which is better? The machines... or having the cops, or living in a police state where people who score the lowest you can possibly score on a municipal test are our friggin' oppressors. <laughs> it should be the other way around. It's the lowest of the low is, are the ones that have their boots on our fucking necks, man. That's not right. Then, given all that, what would we need the police for if we had machine surveillance? Machine surveillance could lay down total coverage at a fraction of the cost of having the police just surveil the donut and coffee shops. Right? Then for arrest, well, the police are always... Don't we hear it time and time again that the police are afraid for their lives? Oh, why did you shoot that black person? Oh, I was afraid for my life. If they're afraid for their lives, they should have gotten another job, right? It's hardly the mantra we would expect from the noble and the heroic. And so arrests should be made by private bounty hunters. We could expect a private bounty hunter to have more of a stomach for the job, right? Then the warrants could be for dead or alive. With the, okay, with the precaution of having a function added to the internet where each individual could be informed in a timely manner to report for arraignment whenever an arrest or warrant, or warrant is issued. You know, you pick up your phone. Oh, arrest warrant. You boot up your laptop. Boom, a pop-up. Ah, uh, arrest warrant. Giving them certain gap to allow for a peaceful surrender before the contract goes out for the bounty. Criminal justice reform. We could operate this system at a friggin' fraction of the cost of the anarchistic chaos we have now operating. Thank you, everybody.